G'day cocktail lovers, something a little different. I'm playing around on a live stream uh, with my friend Charles. Say hello to the people, Charles. Hello, how are you doing? Charles is actually coming from sunny Canada. Please show everyone that view. Show oh, everyone that view. It's beautiful. Yes. So up at a lake in a little area called Benin, we have just a little taste of paradise. That's that's just magical. I'm in the middle of winter. It's been raining, high winds and floods for the last week. Charles is up in paradise. So um, <laughs> that's okay. We, we, we regularly hang out on live streams on my Angry Aussie channel. And Charlie, you came up with uh, what we're calling this bad decision juice. Yes. What, what was your inspiration for this? Um, basically a series of horrible decisions. It's six in the morning for me. But it's, that, it, it's Friday it, night it's, yeah, me. Exactly, exactly. Friday morning for Charlie. So it's just ridiculous. So I, the, the recipe what, what's it, it was actually driven by the energy drink. There's one you had that was it's called Chaos Punch. Yeah, it's literally driven by the fact that I had an energy drink. And I was like, ah, I'm going to pour some booze in this. Let's see what happens. Yeah. All right. So um, we, we are going to start with some bad decisions. Uh, this is, it's very simple. I got a glass full of ice. Um, there's going to be some rum, there's going to be some limoncello, and then it's going to top off with energy drink. So the combination of the rum and the caffeine, it's just going to lead to bad decisions. So it's bad exactly. decision juice. <laughs> so, all right, here's, here's what I've decided to do. I've got a, well, I have a lot of rums in my collection. Uh, I've got, this is my, the most recent one I've got. It's from Venezuela, Diplomatico. Oh. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Mantuano. So there you go. This is a fairly standard um, a dark rum. Well, they say it's a pre well, they say it's premium dark rum. It is nice. Uh, I think purists go, oh no, it's got added sugar. Like, dude, I'm I'm also throwing energy drink in this, so you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of rum. I believe you're free pour. You're free pouring, Charlie. I am. I'm using a lovely eight-year-old 1919. Ooh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Uh, it's got a lovely kind of vanilla to it that just really yep. brings a nice creaminess to everything it touches. Yeah, nice. Well, I'm kicking mine up a notch with some inner circle cask strength. Uh, so when you say cask strength, normally when a spirit is distilled and then aged in a cask, uh, they they dilute it before because you know forty percent is the average. Cask strength is usually around seventy five percent, and then they dilute it. This is undiluted cask strength, so it's got <laughs> it's like really strong molasses notes going on in there. Uh, oh, that's a chipmunk. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna I'm only putting half an ounce of this in because it's pretty beastly. I mean, uh, you don't want your drink to be flammable. I don't think. Actually, if you do want your drink to be flammable. You float this one on top and set it yeah. on fire. I could have, I don't know, I could have done that, uh, but <laughs> too late now. Now, you also wanted limoncello, which I assume means you have limoncello on hand. A lovely Ooh, limoncello. That was nice. This this is a uh, an Australian one um, uh, from South Australia. It's really nice. Oh, crack the seal. Is that a new bottle? Nice. No, it's not. It just has a oh, weird the sugar. copper on yeah, it. No, it the sugar gets in the thread, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to put an I'm going to put an ounce of limoncello in because why not? Got, got that in there. Yeah, and um, the other part of the bad decision is the caffeine part. So this is not a subtle drink that we're making here. Um, so I'm just topping it up. I deliberately got a really brightly coloured one too. So I'm going to stir that up a little bit because all the rum's sitting on the bottom. I don't want to <laughs> be deceived with the first bit and go, oh, it's going to be fine, and then slowly get more and more alcohol content as I go down. <laughs> a little squizzle. All right. Okay. That's a fantastic colour. What does yours look like, Charlie? Not Very the similar. There we yeah. go. All right. So... Um, there we go. Can we, can we get to like do a Wait, clink? Is there we go. Cheers. 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 Clink. Cheers right. to international bad decisions. 
you, this will. We're filming this on the eleventh uh, of June. It'll go up sometime later, but June is I don't know bad decision month. So we'll we'll yes. just go with that. Let's do Perfect. that. All right. Cheers. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's much better than I thought. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, we were, we were, we've spent a week or so laughing about the idea of doing this. Um, that's just like, again, the, the, the flavors and the energy, we, we both went with the sort of punch uh, flavor energy drinks. So it just tastes like a tropical punch drink. Yeah. Um, and drink it slowly or, or, or you're going to make some bad decisions. <laughs> Exactly, and the general theory is the you know let's have a drink, but let's give ourselves the energy to do the stupid things the drink wants us to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The alcohol will give us the stupid ideas, and the caffeine will give us the energy to carry those ideas out. <laughs> look, I exactly look. What you want to do. Can, can I, in good conscience, recommend other people go out and make a bad decision, Juice? No, not really. Not really. This is just a, this is this is like a giant Jaeger bomb, basically. It's like five Jaeger bombs in one. I'm not even exaggerating in terms of alcohol and caffeine content. This is like about five Jaeger bombs in one. So this is going to see me through the night, and I think it's going to give Charlie a really interesting day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. But I thank you for the inspiration, Charlie. Oh, uh, um, my pleasure. Thank you and, for having me. And while we both are enjoying this drink, as I said, neither of us in um, uh, good conscience can recommend you make one yourself because it's a Don't bit dangerous. It. So I'll, 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 I'll do a public health warning. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm we'll, we'll leave you later. Fine. Yeah. We'll leave you fine people with this. Um, Charlie and, off, and I are off to make bad decisions. You should make a good decision, good viewers. You, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you should do that. And you should leave a comment. Tell us what's the worst decision you've made with a drink. I would love to hear what you've mixed that was just a terrible, terrible idea and terrible things happened afterwards. Exactly. Uh, so here's the bad decision juice um look here's to us all having better days clink and uh <laughs> i hope to see you again uh sometime soon dear viewers but in the meantime cheers <laughs>